I am the like <laughs> I just recorded like 20 minutes worth of this video <coughs> and I deleted it because I wasn't wearing my glasses and I want to be wearing my glasses. <laughs> To address the elephant in the room, I cut my hair. Stream has already known about it, but I chopped my hair. I probably will be uploading videos of me with long hair, but currently in the present, it is chopped. I think it's very cute. I like it. I don't care if you don't like it or if you think I was better, lo better looking with longer hair. Your opinion, very irrelevant to me when it comes to negative things. Believe it or not. But yeah, hi, hello, I'm Schleb, and today I just wanted to do a little chit chatty video. I wanted to talk about life and uh, sleep some cards. I have bought some Final Fantasy uh, trading card game TCG starting decks, and I still need people to play with, but I'm sleeving them for the time being. I want them to be safe and secured. I actually bought like two decks back in May and I have a video for it but the audio got messed up and then I bought another deck with Opus 12 packs but the audio for that is like also kind of meh. <laughs> I have audio issues man it's horrible anyway and uh, yeah I'm sleeving those cards right now. I'll probably upload them anyway but you know I'm just Throwing it out there, the audio isn't that great. It's a, it's a schlep quality video. But yeah, anyway, wanted to uh, talk about life while I sleeve some cards. So, uh, hello, hi. Hope you guys are doing well. I don't know what I'm going to title this video, but if it's what I'm thinking, it is. Hi, yes, I'm leaving Japan. <laughs> and before you ask, why are you leaving Japan during the pandemic? Why would you ever want to go back to the state? Trust me, I didn't actually ask for this. <laughs> this was not me saying, oh, I want to go back. Not at all. Uh, it has been really difficult for me to accept, and I'm not very happy about it. But I'm trying to be. Trying to be positive. There are positive things to look forward to, but yeah. <laughs> Before I get too super into it, though, but... These penny sleeves, I don't even know what brand these are, this Japanese brand. I bought this to store my Pokemon cards, which I will show you guys in a bit. Um, this Dragon Shield, um, do they have that anywhere? I don't know. And did I buy anything else? I bought Pokemon cards. I'm not showing you guys my Final Fantasy cards. I'll show you the Pokemon cards. I got new PC glasses. <laughs> so yeah. Next year, I will be moving back to the States. Me and my husband will be moving to Pennsylvania, and I'm trying to be positive about it. I'm trying to be excited. There are things to be excited about, like Taco Bell. Despite them removing my favorite freaking thing off the menu. Why? The quesadilla was perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited for all these. I'm excited for like actual like Mexican, well not actual Mexican food, but like, you know, better than the lack of it here. <laughs> I'm excited for... More of a social life, I guess? I am excited to focus more on streaming and content creation. I did think I was going to try to go full time, but financially, I don't think it's going to be possible to make that a possibility by the time I move back. So I'll probably be getting a job doing I don't freaking know and just having more time to focus on streaming and content stuff. The reason why we're moving is it's for multiple reasons. There's you can't I can't really say it's just because of one reason when it's a mixture of many. But from what I can speak of because you know it's about me but what i could talk about is a bigger reason is my mental health my mental health has been wild ever since i was born um i was diagnosed with depression when i was in middle school and have been on medication for that until my senior year of high school in which i thought i was fine i'm gonna be fine for the rest of my life and i got off my medicine uh and so went to college Thought it was okay, moved to Japan, thought it was okay. Uh, two months later, it was not okay. <laughs> the change was very uh, difficult. It was really difficult because I, at the time I was super dependent on my then boyfriend, now husband, 
I was super dependent on, on them. I was not an independent person at all. I was very emotionally attached and it was very difficult to go from being together pretty much every day to literally only being able to FaceTime and things like that. Like it was just difficult. It was very hard. And I got super feelsy, very uh, depressed again. And so luckily um, I got in contact with a psychiatrist here who speaks a bit of English and I got back on the same exact medication that I took when I was in middle school and high school. So things start to get a bit better. However, hi, I'm a forgetful person. It's something I've always struggled with. And I was really bad about taking my medicine consistently. I still am. I still haven't taken my medicine today, actually, which I probably should do uh, before I uh, stream. But anyway, so I would frequently go like a week taking my medicine and then not take my medicine. And this would happen for a while. And then I would run out of medicine. And then I would be too scared to go back to the psychiatrist and tell him, hey, I forgot to take my medicine, but I need more. <laughs> so I really struggled with being consistent. But during the times that I was not taking my meds very consistently, I realized some things about me and like about like my mental health that I thought were kind of strange. Um, and like everyone, it's really easy to get wrapped up in your own head and to think that you're like, oh, I'm such a weird person. I'm so weird. I'm so weird and different. Like it's really easy to think like that. But the things that I noticed were very weird. <laughs> <laughs> they were weird and so I tried to do some self-exploration that sounds weird I, I tried to figure out on my own and I don't want to encourage like self-diagnose diagnosing or anything like that however I don't have the best mental health care here in Japan I have great health care but I I can't just tell my psychiatrist hey this is what I'm feeling because a lot of it's gonna be kind of written off and he won't really listen to some of the things I experience. But basically, I experienced some things and now I'm on some new medication. I'm not going to go into what or anything like that. I mean, I'm open about it on stream. I uh, am on uh, bipolar medication and it's been helping a lot and it's been great. But yeah, there's like a whole story history behind it i'm not gonna go into it for this video it's not really <laughs> worth the time but yeah um i'm on new med medicine and it's been great and super helpful and i feel really good i still don't consistently take my medicine but i'm so much better than i was before like a lot better so i'm really happy about that uh. but yeah so mental health is part of it um i'm a missionary in japan and Another reason that we're leaving is because the financial support that we get from our friends and family and churches is lacking. So we just don't really make enough money to really support, you know, the two of us. And then, you know, if one of us needed to fly home for like a family emergency or I don't like to I don't like talking about being pregnant or babies or anything like that, because it's none of your business, whether there's a baby in me or that I'm going to have one none of your business however if that were to happen we'd be screwed financially so <laughs> um yeah if we just we don't we don't make enough right now to currently support ourselves and emergencies so that is a concern and just you know and you know things about alex too and you know just there's more to it but that's just like that's basically just the stuff i can share um so it's not me wanting to move back it's just you know hello hi i'm a christian uh you know i i would say it's a christian you know god you know used me here and now he wants me back and i don't really know why and i don't like it but he wants me back there so we go back and i just need to be positive as much as possible hopefully can i even fit all my cards in here oh no i need another are you kidding me that's about the move. What else do I want to talk about? So with my mental health being kind of not like all over the place, but being kind of weird, I often find myself wanting, I don't even know how to explain it. I love making Final Fantasy 14 content. I really do. It's my favorite thing in the world. I love streaming it and I feel really confident doing it. But like, I don't want to trap myself in it either. So I'm always trying to figure out like what I want to do and, you know, how to grow and things like that. it's 
I don't want to get into it, but like, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure it out. All right. Just trying to figure it out. So I got into buying Final Fantasy TCG because I thought maybe I could do some Pokemon, you know, or not Pokemon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> maybe I can open up some Opus packs or just Final Fantasy TCG, uh, starting decks and things like that. Get into it, you know, go to, you know, you just like make content for this game because I really am into it. I just sadly don't know how to play it because I don't, <laughs> I haven't been able to play it. I'm, I currently have one friend who's trying to work out a time that we can do something. Um, but yeah, so I thought about that, but like, I don't know if the com the community is super small on YouTube and part of me wants to make content so that it does get bigger, right? However, it also might be, you know, exactly what I don't want to happen, which is to, I would focus on FFTCG and just sort of like, I don't say kill my content because at the end of the day, it's what makes me happy, right? However, would people stop caring if I did FFTCG? I don't know. I don't know because not that many people play this game. Pokemon does so well on YouTube and it's doing even better. It's just growing. But FFTCG is still very, very behind. And it probably will, it will never be as big as Pokemon. However, I would like it to grow. And if I want something to grow, then I should help with the process. But I don't know. I don't know. So like I said, I have a video that's going to go up opening a starter deck and packs. Maybe we'll just see how it goes from there. I don't know. But I am interested. And I'm always thinking about content. I, I'm always thinking about what else can I do? And I feel like if, if you're a content creator, you might relate. I feel like I'm just always slacking, always not doing enough, and yada, yada, yada. But, you know, I just want to make content that makes me happy and also makes y'all happy. And then y'all can enjoy it. And, you know, and, uh, you know, obviously I'd like to grow and have a bigger audience. But, you know, I can't, I don't know. It's so hard to talk about. <laughs> um, but that's why I kind of wanted to do this. I just kind of wanted to take a step back and just, you know, be open and honest with you guys and just simply talk about it. Are you guys interested in FFTCG? Do any of you guys play? One thing that I am excited about with moving back to the States is that the city that I'm moving back to has a um, FFTCG community. So I am going to be diving in and I'm really excited. I hope, I hope that they're nice. <laughs> I hope to know the game by then too. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, I'm moving next year. Did I mention that? I'm moving next year, next and like summer. Okay, expect next summer, okay. <gasps> I'm excited about that. I don't know. I just, I wanna make YouTube content. I don't only wanna use stream content. I don't want to do React content because, oh my gosh, okay. <sighs> react content is not fulfilling content for me because it makes me feel lazy. Yes, it gives you great views whenever you do it. Last time I talked about this on stream, people got upset. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's questionable whether you can legally do uh, React content. That's, I guess that's what I will say about it. But like the most important thing is that I don't feel fulfilled when I do React content. I don't feel feel fulfilled I don't feel creative it doesn't it doesn't do it for me at all I need to be able to like do something with my content I want like a good idea and I want to make the idea grow and you know to grow in the womb and just get give it nutrients and then birth it into a video <laughs> I said I wouldn't talk about babies but here I am talking about birthing video <laughs> ideas <laughs> oh my gosh anyway I'm torn between just doing content that I'm comfortable in, confident in, that'll help me grow, or trying out this new area that is really quiet, but I'm interested in it. I don't know. It's so hard to know what to do. And I feel like, I mean, there is no right or wrong answer to it because it's just like content. There is seriously not enough room for all this. I don't know how I'm gonna... Am I gonna like break this if I try to squeeze it all in? That's Is that possible? All right, we got two decks and then two packs in this bad boy. When it comes to Pokemon cards, I don't really care about like actually playing or anything like that. So when I buy Pokemon cards, 
They're just cute, little squangly. My favorite Pokemon is Oshawott. So I like buying any Oshawott uh, card or any of like the evolutions as well. Um, my, okay. Okay, technically my favorite Pokemon is Trico because I love Trico and I love his nose. I would say maybe my second favorite is Ashwa. I'm lying. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just going to show you guys the cards real quick before I sleeve them up because you'll probably never see them again. <laughs> but yeah, um, a lot of the names are different in Japanese. It's really cute. But yeah, I only really like buying cute cards when it comes to Pokemon. Maybe one day I'll want to play since the community is much bigger for Pokemon TCG. And I obviously have cards, but have some energies. Where's the best one? There we go. I like hollows, reverse hollow. Look at this one. Look how happy he is. And that look at this one! Meow! I, and he's sleeping. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> anyway, so uh, how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I uh, really missed streaming this past week. It was very miserable not streaming and being sick. Not a big fan. Would never want to do that again. <laughs> I'm just trying to be excited for the future. I'm excited to be able to focus on content creation. Uh, get into some communities I was never able to get into before. Because um, growing up, I, I'm, I'm, I'm from New York. Not the city. Not saying New York. Um, and I was from a pretty small area. And like, we didn't have card shops. We didn't have anything. Yeah, I'm just, I'm from a small town. I was like the only one that watched, not, not to be like that person, but like I was the only one who like watched anime like for a while. I'm sure there's probably kids who watch anime now because it's like the cool thing to do. But I'm very different from the people I was like around back then. And I wish that I had been closer to, you know, a place that had more things I would have been interested in growing up. Like, if, if there was, like, a card store, I would have loved that. Or just some more video game stuff. Just <laughs> more weeb things. Like, yeah. Um, that just would have been, would have been pretty nice. But it is what it is. I'm looking forward to hopefully providing nice, fun content. I'm just still figuring that out, if that makes any sense. Oh gosh, this is gonna be real tight, even if I can get it all to squeeze in. Square Enix, you wanna sponsor me? <laughs> Please? <laughs> Please send me pretty sponsored things I'll unbox and review for stream. Pretty please. I got it to squeeze! Got all those cards to fit in. Luckily, I don't have expensive cards, so if that does somehow damage them, we're good. I have extras of these though let me put them back in this that was basically everything i wanted to talk about i think <laughs> thank you for uh watching this um it's a different video for what i have been posting but hopefully i'll be back to uh normal content soon my next video will be a uh, fftcg video so we'll be testing the waters with that with the next video and then we'll probably be just jumping back to the stream stuff that I've been doing with the video games and Final Fantasy 14 and Square Enix and JRPG. I'll just, you know, whatever things. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.